Hi, this is Turunik P, and this is Prefix 74. Prefix that is either fill or philo, okay, they both mean the same thing. The prefix fill or philo means fondness for, favor of, or respect for. It is believed to derive from Greek philos, meaning beloved or dear. And we got several examples here to show just how it's used. All right, the first one, philanthropy, the giving of money unconditionally to people in need. So you're not, unconditionally means you don't ask them for something in return, or not expecting something in return. Philo, uh, coming from philo, fondness for an anthropos, meaning man from Greek. So that's how we got it. Uh, as he got older and had more money uh, than he could spend, he started to believe in philanthropy and became a philanthropist. All right, good. Philosophy, the study of theories about the meaning of life, knowledge, and beliefs. So it derives from Greek philos, lo meaning loving, plus sophia, meaning wisdom. All right. So and we have our example here. The study of philosophy ponders the deep questions of life and existence. All right. Philanderer, <laughs> a man who likes or wants to love many women, by only having short sexual relations with them. So he likes to jump from woman to woman. Um, it derives from Greek, philos, love, plus inner, meaning man. Good. Uh, let's continue. All right, here's our example here. She divorced her husband for being a philanderer. Okay, good. Uh, Philately, which is actually stamp collecting, uh, it entered English from uh, French Folletely and was coined by the French stamp collector George Herpin. Okay. He took the idea from Greek, uh, philio, meaning I love, and atele, which originally meant without a tax, which is the closest he could, because in ancient Greek they didn't really have stamps. Uh, the a uh, meant uh, a prefix meant no or without and telos, a meaning tax. Originally, the recipient of a letter paid the postage. Atele meant prepaid by the sender. So nowadays, it's a little confusing because the sender always pays the postage. But, you know, in those days, at the beginning, it was the receiver who paid the postage. All right, we have one example here. Um, his favorite hobby is philately. Okay, hope you got it. Hope's clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.